How's it going YouTube? This is Chris here in my home theater. Got a brand new video for you this morning. Um, on my Instagram page, I had a, a person ask me on there, would I do a video on Kong versus Godzilla? Uh, I think that was on Wednesday or Thursday. So I had court Friday. I let everybody know I had court Friday. Everything went good. I am officially divorced now. And, uh, but everything's good. Just want to let everybody know. So I didn't get a chance to do the video on Friday. Saturday, I actually, uh, a buddy of mine that buys houses and property, he actually came by and looked at the place, and I think he's going to buy it. So I'm probably going to be moving pretty soon. So I didn't get it done yesterday. So uh, I normally don't do movie reviews. Uh, but in my last video, I stated because of all the things going on, and that I might be switching up the channel for a little while until I can get, you know, to a sense of normality in, in my life. So uh, I really just want to talk about my thoughts on the stream, uh, video quality, audio quality, and I'll, I'll kind of give you my little thoughts on the movie. Uh, so let's go. So the movie... I like all movies. There's there's only been one or two movies uh, that I have come across that I just absolutely could not sit and watch. And and then one of them's Fantastic Four, the new version of Fantastic Four. I have not watched that movie all the way through. I've tried. It's trash. I, I don't like it. So we'll get that out of the way. Uh, Kong vs. Godzilla, I really like the movie. I mean, you're you're in for a, a LFE show with this movie and, and it should because you talk about uh two monsters that are bigger than si skyscrapers and what just walking and fighting and you, you know it was going to be a big show so hbo max i have i've really got a beef with hbo max um on my setup here i had a hard time understanding the dialogue it's almost like the dialogue was low uh kind of remind me of tenant to a to an extent um and but it had a lot of bass so it was a lot of kind of hard to understand sometimes and also i had to crank my system up a right good bit and uh because the, uh, the volume level is low on HBO Max. Uh, but overall, I mean, the Atmos track seemed like it sounded good. And I'm going to attribute what I heard uh, to the stream. And I'll say this, Mortal Kombat was the same way. It was exactly the same way. My son was out here and he was like, Dad, what's wrong? I you can't hear it. I was like, same as Kong versus Godzilla. So that was my kind of my beef with 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 the streaming. And I will say, I don't know if any of you guys know, Kong versus Godzilla has already has a release date on 4K Blu-ray, June 15th. So I'm very anticipating getting this in my hand, especially to go for my collection, and we can see if they fix that on the 4k blu-ray disc and i and i'm sure they did and uh i mean i'm complaining a little bit about that sound but the sound was phenomenal i, I really uh it had a lot of overhead height from what i could hear there was a lot of overhead stuff went on which it should because i mean if you're on the ground these these, these you know kong godzilla i mean they're massive so you should hear stuff and you heard uh, jets and all kind of, I mean, it, it was, it was, it was good. They had a lot of, uh, surround effects. They had a lot of Atmos effects and, uh, definitely, you know, I heard one reviewer say that, uh, didn't have a whole lot of, uh, LFE in here as well. I had a lot of LFE in mind. I mean, it was literally shaking the house, shaking the neighborhood and, uh, had a lot of, a lot of bass in it from, from what I heard on my system. Now this is my system. I'm not going what anybody else says. On my system, it rocked. It was just hard to understand the dialogue. That is my beef, and I hope they fix it on the physical media. Now, the picture quality, I'll say this about HBO Max. Uh, they've got good picture quality, <clears throat> and I, I really thought it looked good. <coughs> Excuse me. 
Uh, I looked at it here in my theater, and and you know I got a 1080p projector, but you know it it wants to up convert. So even though I'm watching something just you know maybe 4K, it has a better picture. So I, I the picture quality to me was phenomenal. Uh, and then I watched it on my Q6, uh, which is a 4K Samsung. Q6, Q6 LED 65 inch and picture quality to me looked really good. Um, so overall, my experience with the with the stream version, I had good video, and I just really had a, had a, had a little tough time with with the audio. And I'm hoping uh, when June fifteenth comes out, when we get that 4K disc in our hand. I may do a little a little review on that disc. I don't know. It just depends on where I'm at June fifteenth. If I'm if I'm not here anymore, uh, I don't know if I'm gonna have me a room set up. I don't I don't know yet. Uh, so, but I'm still gonna buy the disc regardless. And uh, but uh, that's my little video today. And uh, I know it ain't much videos when I do stuff like this. It don't get, they don't get a lot of views. Uh, if you want to share this video with some people, that'd be great. Uh, I'm still learning a good format for me to uh, to do the videos like this, but you know I was asked to do one, and I try to I try to listen to people when they ask for videos and stuff. I try to uh, give you guys what you want, but overall, uh, like I say, it's already gone now off HBO Max. It's only on there for 30 days, so I think it went off either Thursday or Friday. Uh, yeah, either Thursday or Friday, so it's gone now. Uh, if you guys want me to do one on Mortal Kombat, I can do one on Mortal Kombat, and because uh, I've watched it uh, in the theater, uh, actually a couple of times, just like I did Kong versus Godzilla, I watched it three or four times. And uh, but I mean, I can do stuff like this. Uh, you guys, hey, drop a drop a comment in, in the in the comment section below. Let me know what you think. If you like me to do some movie reviews, I mean, I've got some older films I can do videos on. I mean, hey. I got 455 4K Blu-rays and Blu-rays. I, I got a lot. And it, I didn't even count my DVDs. And if you add them in, I probably got around 500 in my collection. It's not bad. I've only been collecting about a year or so. Uh, actually, probably a couple years now. Uh, so my collection is getting there. So, I mean, you know, like I said, we're going to switch gears a little bit on my channel until I can get moved and situated in my new house and uh then we'll try to ramp back up and uh hopefully by then more subscribers i can get uh some equipment in i'm still contacting people uh, manufacturers and uh, i'm just i'm just hitting a lot of roadblocks and dead ends right now so but time will come things will happen and uh i'll be able to do some some better con content but i just want to get some stuff out there guys I uh, hope y'all enjoyed it. Hope everybody has a wonderful week, and maybe we'll see you again real soon.